Hoffman Jefferson Parish lawmaker wants to consolidate UNO and Southern University New Orleans. But another elected leader says not so fast and is countering with an idea which may upset tens of thousands of drivers. Politics is a full contact sport. Longtime lawmaker Austin Badaw says if one of his colleagues moves forward with legislation to merge the two lakefront universities, he will look into reinstating the tolls on the Crescent City Connection. It is a move directly linked to West Bank Representative Patrick Connick, the man who led the effort to stop the tolls. And tonight, his supporters say they're ready for a fight. WDSU reporter Travers Max is live at 10 now with how real this possibility is. Travers? Well, Scott, you remember two years ago, voters decided overwhelmingly to remove the tolls from the Crescent City connection. But State Representative Austin Badon says if one of his colleagues tries to merge SUNO and UNO, he'll consider bringing the tolls back. On the Pontchartrain Park campus at SUNO, sophomore Pietro Trotter is well aware there is chatter by lawmakers in Baton Rouge to merge her school and HBCU. Or historically black college or university with neighboring UNO in an effort to save money. It's an idea she's against. It means a lot to us to be a part of something that's historic. Four years ago, the state looked into the idea, but decided against the merger despite dwindling attendance and increased cost. At both universities. It definitely hurts students to consolidate these schools. So, State Representative Austin Badon is against it. Why do it? Because we may have to. But his Republican colleague from Marrero isn't. And State Representative Pat Connick says if both schools don't receive proper funding, consolidation may be the only move. Do we eliminate them or do we try to bring them together? Uh, it may not be an option. But Badon says if Connick moves forward, he will too. If Representative Connick were, were to proceed on a bill to merge these two schools, that could or may generate a bill to bring back the tolls on the Crescent City connection. An idea anti toll groups say won't fly. We're definitely against the tolls coming back. And just the threat of tolls returning has the anti toll groups taking it seriously. Well, he certainly got our attention. Um, and, um, you know, we're already somewhat mobilizing again. Students at SUNO hope it's all for naught, and talks of a merger are silenced. This place works for us, it works with us, you know, and it gives us a sense of pride at the end of the day. Now, we should point out that Representative Badon tells us he does have a meeting scheduled this week with Representative Connick to iron out their potential differences. And we should also mention that on Friday, the governor will unveil his budget for this upcoming season, which could prompt legislation dealing with higher education during this session. Reporting on your side on the riverfront, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.